Hey guys, it's Jodie and welcome back to my channel. So I've been asked to do a one year review of my Rosalie coin purse from Louis Vuitton. I feel like it is because some people might be a bit skeptical about the Rose Valley interior being a bit lighter and also having this um, zip compartment and putting coins in there. As my first Louis Vuitton piece, I did want to do use it just as it is, like as a wallet put the coins in the consulate where it's meant to be and not kind of like overly protect the piece. I mean, I definitely look after it and I like look at, just admire it every single day, but pretty much I do use it however it is supposed to be. So um, when I open up the piece, mine is made in Spain. You can see I've got marks like here and here and here. So my main concern here, can you see the little dent? That is from this zipper compartment. This zip, this raised metal bit digging into and when you close the piece on the side, you see that? That zip will dig into the leather interior on the inside here. So that's probably one of the biggest concerns. Apart from that, just some markings. I'm pretty sure I can take it off with a baby wipe. I haven't tried to do so. And opening up, I'm trying not to show all my bank details. I put my main credit card in that slot and... In the center, I have a whole bunch of cards and a bit of cash. So let me just take that out for you. Got in there my Chartan card, Peter Loop, Salsa card, my key, um, Boost, what's this? Um, club card, like Priceline, and a bit of cash. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cards and a bit of cash in the center. Um, my bank card in the back here. And on the other side, there's another compartment. So one on here and one on here. On here, I've got two cards. I've got my driver's license and my student ID in there. And that's pretty much it for the center compartment. As you can see, it has the leather part has stretched a bit. So this dark bit, it doesn't quite fit. Like this one is quite flush. But because maybe I put two cards in there, can you see that kind of has a gap in between here so that's just kind of left like that and in the back i have like some loyalty card i've got coco i love coco um healthcare card um frozen yogurt gongcha coffee card what is this some wonton noodle house pepper lunch and more coffee cards so i've just pretty much have all my loyalty cards um in the back compartment there and that's what it looks like empty. So it, I kind of haven't stretched it too much. These are more of the paper cards. So how many do I have got? I've got eight paper cards. So these are flimsy. I've got eight paper cards in the back. One bank card here and two cards here. My ID and my student card in there. And I've got some other ones in the center as well with some cash. And at the very front, the zipper is super, super smooth. I've got um, my coins, so let me take my coins out and show you the wear and tear inside, which is, I gotta say, I've never cleaned it for a year and a half and it's looking a little bit bad. So let's have a look inside. This part is where the button is at the front. That part has gone really dark and I don't know if you can see, but it is quite dark on the inside, especially on the base. It has gone quite dark, but Apart from that, that the leather is still pretty nice. I hope I can clean it with some baby wipe. You can see the color that the color transfer of the Rose Valerie, which I knew before I even purchased this. I knew that was going to happen, and I didn't really mind it. Some beauty marks, and it's also on the very inside of your wallet, inside the zip. No one's ever going to look there, and there's always going to be some change in there anyway. So probably just from all the gritty gritty stuff from the coins. So that is my Rosalie coin purse completely empty. I haven't had it this empty since I first got it. It's very, very flat. Um, so same thing again. I'll leave all the dimensions um, in the description bar below because it's all on the website and saves you time if you want to check it out. So those are my major concerns. The quite a bit actually. I didn't expect it to see so many. So zipper, dig into there. Some light markings. Up um, a little bit of stretching of this pocket, otherwise everything else is perfectly fine. And um, just the dirtiness of the uh, leather interior as well. In terms of the canvas and the glazing, I just had a look just before I started filming this video and everything is actually perfect. Like I can't see any glazing issues. So have a look there. 
everything seems perfect the other side again nothing at first i was a bit concerned about here where the wallet would open like this bit i was concerned that there will be some glazing problems but as you can see nothing on both sides everything is perfectly okay still this brings me to the most 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 concerning part of this wallet and that is the button at the very front that button has worn really in my opinion pretty badly so um i did put some nail polish on it just to protect it and it worked for the beginning but now can you see it's like a gray circle almost coming through the button from the the inside like pressing onto the deeper ends from this button here so that's probably my bigger concern with this piece which is this button here so that button is the biggest concern i have of this whole piece um apart from that i really don't have anything bad to say i have used this i can pretty much say every single day that i've actually used the wallet sometimes i've used a card holder if i'm using my really really little bag that can't fit this one and my keys apart from that i've used this every single day i bring it everywhere with me i brought it to europe with me and it was just such a good small little wallet that can fit everything so that's what i normally fit in it but for the purpose of this video i wanted to show you the maximum amount of cards that you can fit into this wallet in case you do carry more cards with you bought my whole stash of cards these are just like random loyalty cards that i never really use or like you know i have a copy of it on my phone using those loyalty cards so let's try 12 cards on either side like so that fits in the middle no concern whatsoever so the main thing I would have to point out is can you see these leather bits they kind of fold in here they fold in there which kind of minimizes you open this and it's like there's so much space to put your cards in here but technically you can't put that many because can you see that doesn't fold quite nicely and kind of damages the piece so what you have to do um, is actually split it in half and have half up the top and half up the bottom so that way the wallet will close properly one card on this slot here one card on that front slot there so that's pretty Full. So right now I've got 15 cards total, um, one there, one there and 13 in between here. At this point can you see those leather tabs is kind of squishing against each other so I probably wouldn't go too much further. Still closes perfectly, opens a little bit. I have seen some people stuff their wallet till it is humongous like gigantic they don't know how they managed to do it how they managed to snap it together but i've seen people fit so many more cards but i probably will stick to about here so that's good amount so i think 17 cards or maybe like even 18 is probably good in the, in the there but i'll put the same seven paper cards in this back section here and that's what it looks like so far so it's getting pretty full just up some cash in the middle so these notes all fit including the $50 Australian notes what I do is I put it in between these two slots so just like that and that's because the cash is a bit shorter so it can fit in the middle without the leather without the leather being um, in the way so damn, that is very full I would not fit anymore that's probably a very good fit so that's how white it is now and that's what it looks like inside if I did want to put my coins I've only got a few at the moment that makes it more bulgy I'll put it all in there zip it up and oh it just closes so that's probably the maximum I'll put in there got some coins in there all those cards and that's what the wallet looks like I'm actually struggling a little bit to close that but it kind of holds it still but yeah definitely wouldn't recommend stashing that many cards you probably don't need it if you do need that many cards probably go for like a bigger size wallet or something like that so I've got a whole bunch of cards I've got 15 cards here all in the center compartment and one off the back Get that one out and one in this pocket take that one out some cash seven paper cards and some coins so that's all that fits in here I'll probably insert some photos after this so you can see a close-up of the button um, the wear and tear up here and also inside the zipper wallet so you can have a better idea
you know, apart from that, this pull tab has held up pretty well. You just have to make sure it's a little bit fiddly. Just make sure when you're closing the piece to have that um, pull tab sitting flush and then you close it before or else you risk damaging it. For example, if it's hanging off like that and you try and close it, you're actually bending that. Can you see? So make sure it's sitting flush against the zipper and then close it and you'll have no problem whatsoever. I know it's a bit fiddly but I'm kind of really used to it now so yeah. Well, if you are planning to get this wallet and you're worried about the Rose Bell interior and you see from my pictures that that's going to concern you then I'll probably go with maybe like the fuchsia interior or something like that because that one wouldn't mark as clearly but to be honest the Rose Bell already makes this piece so much more beautiful so I reckon if you don't mind your piece showing a little bit of wear and you want to, and you can clean it, I reckon just go for the rose ballerine if that's what you're after. I always open and close with this button. That's probably the most sign of wear and tear you will see. And to be honest, if any of you have any better suggestion than um, nail polish on the button, please leave it down below. I would love, love to hear your suggestions. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this review somewhat useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below. I would love for you to join my little YouTube family. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Peace. Turn the lights, turn the lights down low